Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Joe Black, and welcome to Black Magic Entertainment. Today we're going to go over several illusions that you can perform at home with common household items, so prepare to amaze and dazzle your friends and family. Now for our first illusion that we're going to work on, it's a trick, more than an illusion, but this is a trick that you can play on your friends. Go to one of your friends and you say that you get to turn over two cups at a time, and you got three moves to move all three cups to face down. So you demonstrate to them that in three moves you can get all the cups face down. And then you put the cups in front of them and ask them to get all the cups to face down in three moves moving only two at a time. <laughs> well, that was pretty close. But see, the secret to this illusion is the fact that the, the way that you have the center cup set up at the beginning of this trick will determine where all the cups will face. So for instance, this is facing up at the moment. So all the cups at the end will face up. Now if you have the center cup face down, all the cups will face down after three moves. So try that trick on your friends. I'm sure you'll have fun with it. Another fun little trick that you can do for your friends. Now the way this trick works is you take the rubber band and you preset it over your fingers just like so. And then you give it a wave over your hands and the rubber band will appear to jump from one set of fingers to the other. And you can instantly reset this by taking your fingers and putting them like this. You have to be careful not to show anyone this. But then give your hands a wave again and the rubber band will jump from one set of fingers to the other. Have fun with that trick. Okay, here's another little fun trick that you can do for your friends. It's a coin vanish. Now this one works on a little bit of psychology. Take the coin and I like to do it on the third try. So one, two, three, and the coin vanishes. Now the way this works is on the third time you're basically palming the coin. What I like to do is take my thumb and put it over the coin and just pretend to put it into my hand when really you didn't. And then you can reach into a pocket, pull out a pocket, pull it from behind an elbow, wherever you like. So have fun with that trick. For this next coin illusion, it works really good just in case you've actually messed up one of those previous other illusions. Oh, I'm sorry, I just dropped the coin. <laughs> oh. And that's the way this one works. The way this illusion works is when you drop a coin or some kind of flat object, what you do is you reach down to pick it up, but you put your foot next to the coin. So when you go to pick up the coin, you put your foot next to the coin. Reach down and pick up the coin. But what you did was actually slide it underneath your shoe. So what you do is when you go to pick up the coin you just slide it under your shoe and pretend to pick it up. So after you pretend to pick up the coin you put it into the palm of your hand and pretend to rub it into nothingness. And then you can impress your friends. Have fun. Alright, now here's another fun trick that you can do with your friends. What you do is you say once again that you're psychic and that you're going to determine what color of a pen they use. So you go up to a friend and you say, I want you to choose one of these colors of pens when my back is turned and write the color of the pen on the piece of paper. So I'm going to turn my back, go ahead and choose any pen that you'd like, and write the color of the pen on the piece of paper. Once you're done, 
put the can cap back on, and fold up the piece of paper and mix up the pens. All right, now I'm going to use my psychic abilities to determine which pen that she used. My psychic abilities are telling me that you used the purple pen. Now, the way this trick is done is, at the beginning of the trick, what you've done is set the pen cap so that they line up with a specific spot on each pen. So you'll be able to determine if they take off the cap and put it back on, it's very unlikely that they'll put it on in the exact same spot. And so by quickly looking over the pens, you'll be able to determine which pen that they used. So have fun with that trick. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for purchasing this video. We hope you have enjoyed it and learned a lot of new magic. And I hope all of your lives are now filled with magic. If you ever need a magician or stage hypnotist, please feel free to check us out at blackmagicentertainment.com. My name is Joe Black. See you next time.